What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at the updated TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra. This is a product from a company called Mobvoi, and if you don't know about Mobvoi, it's about time that you did, because I believe they're the sole company that's been keeping Wear OS relevant for the past couple of years, and they've done it again. They've updated their already pretty awesome TicWatch Pro 3 here. The real emphasis this year on the update is really on health and wellness, and they've given us some new features and whatnot. Go ahead and check my link down below, because I can save you guys a little bit of coin if you use my coupon. So if you're interested in this watch, which I really think you guys should consider if you're in the market for a Wear OS device, this is one of the best Wear OS devices right now. Check my link down below and you'll be able to save a little bit of coin. The TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra is a nice update, a nice refresh to the TicWatch Pro 3. Let's go over what's on the box to give you a little bit of an overview. Now it does use the Qualcomm 4100 platform processor, but Mobvoi is calling it the 4100 Plus. It's their own customized chip. It's clocked higher than Qualcomm's 4100 Plus at 2 GHz. It also uses a coprocessor for that LCD screen and the always-on display. You get military standard 810G, so it's a little bit more durable than, than the TicWatch Pro 3 was. Up to about 3 days of battery life and 45 days in essential mode. I'll talk about battery life in just a little bit. 20 professional workouts, IP68 waterproof and swim suitable. This is Wear OS, so you get the beautiful Google Assistant on your wrist. And what's new this year, you get this irregular heartbeat and AFib detection and fatigue assessment. I'll show you what that means as well. You have a built-in compass and GPS, the dual customized screen on the TicWatch Pro, which is what really gives you that awesome battery life on a Wear OS device. You also get heart rate monitoring, sleep and stress tracking, all of that awesome stuff as well. Google Pay, you get Google Music, you also get thousands of watch faces on the Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and take a look at it together. It's actually on my wrist here. This is the brand new TicWatch Pro 3, and I like the design. I think they did a nice job with the updated refresh. They did a really nice job kind of making it a little bit more modern. TicWatch Pro has a really beautiful screen. It's a 1.4 inch 454 by 454 panel. Mobvoi's own 4100 plus processor, the one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of storage means that you get a very snappy device and you can download watch faces for days. You can also download your favorite applications right to the watch itself. This is YouTube Music. Now you can't stream from YouTube Music right now, but you can download your favorite mixes, you can connect a Bluetooth headset, go for your run, pay for things right from your wrist without taking your phone. The great thing about Wear OS is you do get to see images if someone does send you an image and a message. In this case, it's a WhatsApp message. And the whole point of having a smartwatch as a companion device is that you want to pull out your phone the least amount of times as possible. So being able to see an image, being able to see emojis right on your wrist means that you don't have to pull out your phone to see what someone sends you. Definite plus to having Wear OS, definite plus for the TicWatch Pro Ultra. Just to show you really quickly, the brand new TicWatch Pro 3, they did a nice job with their overall design. Again, you see the bezel, they did a really nice job modernizing that bezel. If we take a look at it, kind of next to the last generation TicWatch Pro 3, you can see it has a little bit more, more of that glossy piano black type of feel. Adding that little design around the bezel makes it look a little bit nicer, and a little bit more modern in my opinion. And you can see on the buttons too, the attention to detail, they've narrowed those little buttons to match the bezel. It sits very thinly on the wrist as well, and because it's really light, even though it has this massive screen on the front, you're really not going to feel it at all. The TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra has Corning's Gorilla Glass on the top, and it also is military spec 810G certified, so it's going to be able to take a little bit more extreme abuse than some other watches out there. So I think Mobvoi did a really nice job, not only with changing the design, but also giving us a more durable watch. And the strap is also improved. It's a little bit more durable than, than previous straps as well. 22 millimeters the way to go. So if you want to change them, very easy to do so. And check my link down below. Can save you guys a little bit of coin and even get you a free, a free strap if you buy two from Strapsco. It's a great way to strap up and give the watch the look that you really want. So check my link down below. This is a Wear OS device first and foremost, guys. Now this does have Wear OS 2. 
It is going to be updated to Wear OS 3 in the future, and I am kind of curious to see how that's going to go because Google's kind of changed the game when it comes to Wear OS devices. They're now letting manufacturers put their own skin on, so that's why the Galaxy Watch 4 looks like it does because Google's allowed companies to do that. So I'm really interested to see if Mobvoi is going to create their own skin or if they're really just going to keep the keep the look and feel of a traditional Wear OS watch around. I kind of like this traditional feel because when you swipe over to the right, you get access to your Google Assistant, you can send a message, you can start a workout, and you get quotes of the day, which I quite like personally. And the Google Assistant is the number one thing that's kept me with Wear OS for all of these years because it's very, very simple. Where's the closest Starbucks? And it gives you a lot of useful information, visual information about your query. And, and number one thing I always like to ask, who's the president of the United States? And there's follow-up questions as well. Again, it's the Google Assistant on your wrist. Swiping up from the bottom is where you get to see all of your, all of your messages and missed phone calls. This is like your notification feed, and I like this style of notification feed versus, some, versus the way that Wear OS 3 does it, at least on the Galaxy Watch 4. I like the fact that I get to see all of my messages, all of my notifications in one place, and I can choose to interact with them, I can choose to interact with them individually, or I can open it up on the phone, I can call back a missed call. Again, I think this is very useful and very well laid out. Swiping down from the bottom, you get your quick toggles. This is nothing new again. If you've ever owned a smartwatch or watched a smartwatch video, this is something that, that you're very much familiar with. Now swiping over to the right is where you get some tiles. You get some information about what's been going on throughout your day. Now this works with Mobvoi's own suite of, I'm going to call it activity tracking, but you can use Google Fit as well. And you see your little overview, how many steps you've walked. You get to see a lot of information about your, your overall health and whatnot. You see the weather. You can keep scrolling over. If you want to check your heart rate. So right now I'm resting. It's about 74 BPMs. And again, you can see throughout the day where you spiked, where you didn't. You'll see your resting heart rate. You'll see your max and your min. And then you can check it out with this little, little informational tab here about where your heart rate is, where it falls in between these zones. If you're resting, warm up, etc., etc. For the past week, you'll be able to see your normal or if there are any abnormalities, you can be able to see that from here as well. If you have any records, it's going to let you know. So again, Mobvoi did a nice job. I always like their, their health suite of applications. Mobvoi's added something new this time around with the brand new TicWatch Pro 3. So going into Tick Health, again, you'll see a snapshot, an overview of what's been going on. But I want to show you the new thing, and it's this mental fatigue and your energy level. This is all something new. It's going to do a 24-hour physical and mental status monitoring based on your heart rate, based on your blood oxygen level, based on a whole bunch of different variables there. So if we go into it, you can see it says my mental fatigue is about a 2. So I'm rested, I'm aware, and I'm concentrated. My energy level is about a 3. So this will jump down from 1 to a 5. I do think that's a nice addition to Mob Voice Tick Health. I think, it, I think it's a nice thing to know. Now again, you do have your blood oxygen saturation levels here. Very easy to take a sample. Again, this was on last year's model. But I think, I think they do a nice job overall once again with their Tick Health of Applications. Opening up the application, you see more information about your health and wellness. So here's that 24-hour physical and mental state monitoring that I just showed you on the watch. And if you go to like a monthly overview, you can do a weekly or a daily. You can see how your energy level spiked or dipped over a certain period of time. And the same goes with your mental fatigueness. So I like these graphs. I definitely like seeing over time if I felt more energetic or I felt more fatigued. And the same goes for the heart rate. You can see the same type of information based on day, the week, or the month. So if we click to month, you can go ahead and see what your heart rate was. If you had any abnormalities, you'll be able to see that information right down here. But you see your highest and your lowest heart rate. And if there were any alerts, you'd go ahead and see them right here for your high heart rate or your low heart rate. And again, you can see the same type of information by the day, week, or month for just about everything that the TickWatch monitors. So here's that SpO2 analysis. And again, you can see if there were any alerts for a low, low blood oxygen. I think the emphasis on health and wellness is definitely a nice upgrade for the TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra. You have Tick Sleep, so for those of you that like to track your sleep, you can go ahead and do so. And just to let you know what kind of information you can get from, from, their, from their sleep tracking app, you'll see your awake time, your REM, your light sleep, your deep sleep. You can see your sleeping heart rate as well. And you can also see your blood oxygen during sleep. So again, for those of you that like sleep tracking, I think Mobvoi's app does a really nice job. 
Tick Zen is their stress application. So if you need a watch to tell you if you're stressed or not, you'll be happy to know that Tick Zen is here. And you can do a little breathing exercise if the watch tells you that, it, that it's time to do so. Tick hearing can be very useful to a lot of people. It's just gonna let you know what the decibel level is around you. So if you take a look at it here in the office when I'm talking to it, it's actually quite dangerous. I'm, I'm speaking quite loudly, I guess, but if I lower my voice or stop talking, you can see the decibel level goes down. And just take a look at the sample from the train. I don't know, man, writing MTA on a daily basis might be hurting my ears, but it's a fun little application once again. And then finally, there is the essential mode, and that's that dual layer technology screen that I really like on Mobvoi watches. And the number one thing you want on a timepiece is to always know the time. So if you are running low on juice, you can manually turn it on. And this is going to ensure that you have a lot of battery for the days to come. So I like seeing this here again. You'll always be able to know the time. You'll see your steps there. See the battery life right at the bottom. But you can also have it switched by battery level. So again, you're always going to be able to know the time. You're always going to be have juice on this watch. And that's what I really like about it. You can also enter essential mode if you want to save battery while you're sleeping. So you can go ahead and do that. But you might not really record your sleep properly if you do this. But again, it's a way to save battery at night if you want to. So you can turn that on from one time to another. Raising your wrist is going to turn on the backlight for this essential mode. So again, you're in a dark environment, you're always going to be able to tell the time. But what I like about it this year is you can change the backlight color. So I think that's something pretty unique and pretty cool. You can see all the colors here that are available on this little Cubics cube. Switching to red, you can see the essential mode light. Again, something pretty cool. I definitely like this because it just makes it fun. It just makes the watch a little bit more, a little bit more customizable to your own liking. So if you like a specific backlight, you can go ahead and change that color. Once again, I like, I like what Mobvoi's done with the brand new Tick Watch. Battery life is something that Mobvoi can tout as, as really having one of the best battery lives on a Wear OS device, thanks to having this dual layer screen kick on after a couple seconds. So not only do you have the ability to always tell the time, but you also have the ability to save some juice for a couple days. This will get you about three days of battery life. If you don't want to use the dual layer screen from Mobvoi and you want to use an always on display from your watch face, you're going to eat a little bit more battery life and you're going to get about a day, maybe a day and a half with this always on display active. So I really recommend you use the dual layer display screen just because you're still going to be able to tell the time. It might not be as pretty, but you're not going to have to charge it as often. When you are ready to charge it, pogo pins on the back are the way you're going to have to charge up this watch. And battery life during an activity is really good. The four hour bike ride that I took took about 13% of battery life. It went from 100 down to 87. So again, this dual layer technology definitely plays a huge role in saving battery life. Now again, if you use a lot of features, if you're tracking GPS, your workouts, sleep tracking, etc., etc., all of that's just gonna chip away from the battery. Taking a look at Tick Exercise, once again, this is provided from Mobvoi, but you can install Google Fit and get access to a lot more a lot more tracking for different sports and whatnot, but I think for most people, this is going to pretty much encompass everything that they want to track. But what I like about Mobvoi's TickWatch Pro 3's dual layer screen is as you're doing your exercise, you can see you're still getting relevant information about your Tick exercise right on this dual layer display. So you're saving battery life and you're still able to check out everything that you're doing. Activating the screen, you get a full color readout of exactly what's going on during your during your mountaineering at this point. And you can see your heart rate zone at the top. All these colors are going to light up corresponding to whatever your heart rate is. And you get to see different information about exactly what's happening with your sport. Switching over to their application, Mobvoi's app is getting better and better. Now once again, you'll get all of your daily stats, all of your overview on the application on your phone. One thing I do want to mention about Mobvoi's TickWatch Pro 3, they've always done a great job with GPS and the heart rate has always been really, really good in my opinion. So when you do some exercises with the TickWatch Pro 3, you can expect some, some pretty accurate results. Clicking on a pretty long bike ride that I took the other day, the TickWatch Pro 3 clocked it at 58.7. Now this should be about 58.9 to 59, so they did a really good job. The TickWatch Pro 3's GPS chip did an awesome job. And I did have it on airplane mode because I didn't want any assistance from my phone. So this was all from the GPS chip on the TickWatch Pro 3. So you get some information here about your ride. So again, I think Mobvoi does a nice job. And you can see a little map of exactly where you've been. And if you do any type of other workouts, you'll always be able to see your heart rate, your max, and your min. Also, if we take a look at an outdoor walk, I think a lot of people track their walks. You'll be able to see a lot of information about what's happening. Same if you go for a run. So you see your VO2 max here. You can see your elevation gain. You can see your heart rate. 
you'll see your speed, your step frequency, your step length, if you had any lap records as well, and then you get a map of, of where you walk to. So again, Mobvoid does a really nice job with their tick exercise application. They always have, and I give them, I give them credit for that once again. This has been a look at the brand new TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra from Mobvoi. It's an excellent device, and it's a device that I can recommend, again, especially because of this dual layer screen. You're going to always be able to tell the time. You're also going to have battery for days and days, and that's what it's all about. You don't want to charge your watch all that often. This is a nice upgrade from Mobvoi, and if you are interested in picking it up, check my link down below. I can save you guys some coin, and that's what I like to do. But if you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.